In this video, I'm going to use these four aerosol cans, which is the FX Intercoat Clear, Silver Metal Flake, Red Candy, as well as a two-pack clear to demonstrate how to avoid candy bleed. This one here, we've had the red bleed through. However, this one has been protected. How did I do it? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so now that I've prepped up my aluminium composite panel, I've sprayed it with some Trident Black. I'm going to use some DNA Silver Metal Flake. Okay, so now that the silver metal flake has been completed and I've given it some time to dry, I'm using a red candy and I'm gonna do a nice base over this metal flake. So I do hope that you're enjoying this video so far. If you are and you're getting some value from it, hit that like button, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that's gonna notify you every time I put out new content. Okay, so now that the candy has been sprayed and allowed to dry, I'm gonna use some of this rice paper tape and we're gonna mask up the panel to split up the two different sections. So one section, I'm not gonna put any intercoat clear on and the other section, I am gonna intercoat clear. That way, I can lay my artwork over the top. I'm just gonna do a basic artwork and then we'll two pack clear it and you'll see whether or not the intercoat clear makes a difference and basically showing you what you need to do when using candies underneath artwork. Let's lift that up for a sec for the purpose of the masking so I can get the paper totally covering the side that I don't want the intercoat clear on. Okay, so now that that's prepped and masked up, I'm gonna be using some FX intercoat. So this is a sample aerosol that DNA supplied me with, hence why there's no label on it. If you wanna grab any of these DNA products, I'll have some links in the description below so you can check them out. Okay, so we've got our panel separated. Again, this is the side with the intercoat clear on it, and this is the raw candy. So I've allowed that to dry, and we're gonna do a simple flame lick over both of them. Just in the white, just so it can really illustrate what happens when you use the FX intercoat versus not using it at all. And I'm probably running my white at about a 60-40 ratio, so I'm not as thin as what I would normally do. A couple more embers. Again, nothing too crazy. Just basically want to illustrate what happens with both. Build it up a bit more down there. Okay, we'll leave it at that. And this side, same thing. This is the side without the intercoat clear, so it's not protected. If you want to learn more about airbrushing, then why not check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. 
more white down the bottom of both. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm just going to quickly remove the tape. So what I'm going to be using to seal it is a Normfest 2-pack clear. And yes, this is 2K. You can see on the top I've got this button. We remove that and then underneath, this is where we fit the button and press that down. And that's going to put the hardener into the can. Give it a really good press. Gonna let the full amount of hardener go into that can. Once you've emptied all the hardener out, which I'm pretty sure I have, pretty hard to tell. Now give it a really good shake to make sure that that all mixes up. And then we're ready for 2K clear. Okay, so when using any two pack, even the other products that I've shown in this video, I highly recommend that you don't do this at home. You should really outsource it. But if you do end up getting yourself any of these aerosols and you wanna have a go at home, be sure that you have at least one of these masks as a bare minimum plus adequate ventilation. You also wanna wear safety glasses and gloves to protect yourself. And with gloves, you wanna wear a nitrile glove which protects you from thinners. You don't wanna just wear a disposable hardware glove. So you can definitely see the difference between the two. The one without the intercoat clear is a lot lighter. It's still very much white, whereas this one has turned into a pink, the one where the artwork was airbrushed just on top of the candy without that intercoat clear. So you can see it's super important to be putting that intercoat clear down in between each coat. You can see a slight little bit of pinkiness trying to come through on the one with the intercoat, but it's extremely slight. Once you do more and more layers, you're gonna be building up more and more intercoat clear, so that's gonna disappear. Basically, you, just from quick appearances, as soon as that two-pack clear bites in to the base, that's where it sucks the candy back through the artwork and if you have a white artwork obviously it will turn it pink by using that intercoat you are protecting it which is very very helpful so i think you can clearly see the difference between those two results and if you want to learn more check out some of the other videos and playlists that i've got listed here and until next time go grab your airbrush do some amazing artwork yourself and i'll see you again very very soon in the next video thanks for watching bye for now